Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. And I'm David. And you know what? The time has come. One of these airplanes at the end of this episode is not coming back. Now before our combat, we have a couple things we need to do. We need to take everything we learned from our previous episodes. We need to get FPV back on this. We need to be able to get a launch mechanism for your 262 because uh, launching this is not easy, is it? It's a big girl, a little awkward. Yeah. Along with this, we're gonna take the ignition system that we created. We're gonna put one in each system along with our laser tag. We got some work to do. So we gotta work on the circuit basically that's gonna ultimately charge the mortar. Um, basically what we wanna do, and we're not gonna be showing you all this because we don't want you to repeat this at home. This is for you guys to view, not to repeat. Uh, but what we wanna do is we wanna be able to remote ignite something based off of how many times it gets hit. So I'm working with something called a uh, servo actuated relay right here. And what a relay does is it takes a small amount of voltage and enables it to switch a large amount of voltage and larger current as well too. So you can see here, I got my continuity. As it sits right here, there's nothing. The second my servo goes past 1500, it switches. So that's perfect. And in the past, you've seen us use like two contacts with an XT60 and then a servo coming down and making that current. It's far too unreliable, especially when we're talking about something that we want to explode. Uh, we're going to use this as a remote uh, to be able to put battery voltage to our remote igniter to ultimately ignite the mortar. So I got to make the circuit. Um, we're going to use the flight test box here to kind of hide everything, protect it as well too. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go outside, we're going to have a mock-up wing, uh, a mortar round, and then uh, we're going to shoot it with the scout, uh, just kind of holding it and, uh, and make sure it goes off after so many hits. Basically, I'm gonna be hooking this up. This is kind of be my analog for the ME262 or the Mustang. Uh, first thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure everything that I have hooked up here is basically then gonna get removed and then plugged straight into both of our airplanes. Uh, what I wanna make sure first is that all the sensors are working, that my controls go nuts, and also that I dial this in so after so many set hits, it's automatically set to then close my relay and then blow up my airplane. So we haven't hooked up any explosives yet here, but what I got is basically the analog that's gonna go into the 262 and also the Mustang. Uh, this is gonna symbolize the controls, this is our counter, and this is our hit lights here. So if this is the uh, enemy airplane or the ally, and it hits it, after enough hits, you'll see this count up, and then this guy's gonna turn one point. Boom. So now what we can do is we're gonna work on a circuit that we're not gonna show you guys after we get to so many different lights. At that certain light, whether it's two, three, four, it's gonna blow up. We got all the secret innards here. This basically is gonna be powering the remote fuse that we tested earlier right here. And it's gonna be connected to our smaller, but still awesome Master Series Mustang here. We got some extra special explosive goodness inside here. If everything works out on the third hit, the fuse will light, and then the airplane will explode. You ready to try it, Dave? Let's do it. All right. So what we got here is we got a couple different levels of safety redundancy. First of all, we are gonna be far away from this. The cameras are gonna be close. Um, we'll power everything up. We'll make sure it works when it gets shot. Then we'll make this connection. Once that's good, anything ignites, it's not going to the mortar. Finally, we'll make our connection here. If we did everything right inside this box, Fuse is gonna ignite, and this plane's gonna be no more. Do you have your safety buddy? <laughs> Do you have your exit buddy? <laughs> exit buddy? How far away are we gonna go, guys? Behind Should we all bridge. lay on our bellies? You just drop down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this isn't that big of a ridge. <laughs> a ridge right we now. need a foxhole. All right, on the count of three, guys, we're gonna do the first round of hits, okay? One, two, three, first round. I see it. All right, and that's the first, that's the indicator. I see it flashing. Second round. All right, one more round. Oh my goodness. Oh my the suspense gosh. is killing me. Round, round. 
Oh, there he stops. Blink, blink, blink. Oh, I see something. Oh, I see smoke. Oh my gosh, there he oh, goes. <laughs> Dude, I don't, I feel suddenly way too close to this. Oh, why are you hiding behind me? <laughs> I, I see smoke, but I don't know if that's good or bad. I really feel too close. Oh, 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 oh no, it's, there it goes. It's, it's almost there. It's, Oh! 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 oh my goodness gracious! All right, we gotta see the damage. You know what's really good is I thought that 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 mortar when it shot was gonna cause a lot of issues. It didn't. Let me turn this off. This is my this is my radio telling me that was a bad idea. Um, dude, I thought when 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 the thing would shoot that it would like mess it up. It wasn't hard to keep it in there. Like, let's go see. Well, that's actually awesome because. Look I mean, that. depending on which one of us get get hit, that means that we may actually be able to kind of... Yeah, I get, still bring it to the ground. That's perfect! Glide like a glider. I mean, I wouldn't want that to be my fist, but... Yeah. No, no, not your fist. Okay. okay, well, test complete. Success. Success. Boom. Next up, we got an ME262 and a P51 Mustang. We're going to take exactly what we made right here, drop them in. we got a battle. Yeah, you're going down. Going down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so while the guys are getting these crazy airplanes ready to fly, I'm gonna tell you about today's sponsor of this video, and that is our friends over at War Thunder. So if you've never had the opportunity to play War Thunder before, first of all, it's awesome. Secondly, it's an online multiplayer military combat game. It's free to play, there's no purchase necessary. All you have to do is download the game and play. One of the things I think I like the most about War Thunder is that it's fully cross compatible on all platforms. So whether you're playing on PC, Xbox, Series X, S, PlayStation 5, it doesn't matter because they all use the same servers. Now let's unpack some of the key features of War Thunder that kind of makes it a little bit different than other online online multiplayer combat games. First off, you have an incredible arsenal of more than 1,700 historically accurate, playable tanks, aircraft, helicopters, and even ships from the 1930s all the way up to even past the 1990s and beyond. What I like about the game is that there's massive combined arms battles on over 100 major battlefields from the World War II to the end of the Cold War. Along with these battles, you have all these intense PvP experiences and full-scale combat missions at various difficulty settings for pretty much all play styles and degrees of experience. So if you're like me and you're new to gaming, then I would choose like the arcade mode for a quick combat action. On top of that, you have realistic mode for more challenging and tactical encounters. And then last but not least, you have the simulator mode, which is unrivaled realism compared to like what you'd see in normal combat. War Thunder offers amazing graphics, authentic sound effects, and even beautiful music to essentially fully immerse yourself in the battle that is going on in front of you. And there's no general hit points like in other games, but in War Thunder, the vehicles actually suffer damage to their components and crew instead of those general hit points. There's no extra pilot hardware necessary. All you have to do is fly any aircraft using nothing more but your mouse and your keyboard, thanks to the game's intuitive mouse aim mode, which is available in arcade or realistic mode. All right, last but not least, this is where you guys come in. The best thing about all this is you can literally go down in the description below, click that link, register using our link, and you can download the game for free and start playing today. And if you register through our link, which helps us out a ton, you're gonna receive a huge free bonus which is like a premium tank or a warship or an aircraft and a three-day account boost just for using our link. And so once again, a huge thanks to War Thunder for making this content possible and partnering with us here at Flight Test and also to you all for watching the content. Without you, we wouldn't be here. So now I gotta go check on the rest of the crew to make sure these airplanes get in the air. Let's go see. So we decided we need to have some sort of launching mechanism for the 262. On our previous video, we had an issue with um, when we hand launched it, it wanted to pitch up real bad because there was no air flowing over the rear tail. So in doing this, we're hoping we can get up some airspeed and have it work out better for us. Okay, basically, um, we just took some uh, steel rod, shoved it through the bottom here, drilled a couple holes, put some tires on, some string and CA, and then up top here, we just took some wood dowels, glued them onto the sides so the wing will sit right up against here and when we take off it should just lift right off. Beautiful. And this is Greg by the way. <laughs> we we co-named it. Let's see you over here in the corner uh, 
Yeah, Dave, Dave and I are gonna be flying from two different perspectives here. When I put it on my canopy, I just see like a little dot in front of me. It's not the awesome view that Dave has. So I'm gonna be flying third person view. And my hope is with the way the canopy is, I can kind of line up and have my gun sight. But because of that, I gotta mount my indicators and my LED flashy lights to so know when I get hit on the back. So I'm just running some extension wires now. <laughs> Uh, let's turn this 180 degrees so we go in the oh. nose cone where the sensor is. Oh my golly! Mine's lighter than yours. She's, she's getting heavy. <laughs> she is. <laughs> we so much heavy. heavy. All right, let's angle that. Yeah, that, that'll get inside that cone. So we got the sensor inside the cone here, so that way it's shielded. Uh, why don't you go ahead and plug it in? It shouldn't, uh, it shouldn't do anything. It shouldn't pop. Keyword. Shouldn't. Oh. Uh, Is there an empty pop can on All right, you guys ready? And shooting. And there's two. <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs> we only have a limited amount of flight here. We're both flying 10,000 milliamp six cell TAP2 batteries. Uh, he's flying two motors. I'm flying one. He's heavy. I'm not. Historically, this is kind of pretty well matched because I can fly a lot longer than he can, but he's also going to be a lot faster than me. So uh, we got to dial this back to two hits and then we get it. So that way we can hopefully get, you know, calibrated into it before our battery runs out and then one of us will go. Are you all set? Uh, see what happens. <laughs> all right, let's do this. Um, plan's pretty simple here. We're gonna power all this stuff up. We're gonna put um, Dave in the air first. Um, he doesn't have much time, uh, but we're gonna get him in the air first because frankly, his is the most sketchy to get launched. Uh, after that, I'm gonna get in the air. The battle will continue. We're gonna fly a set route that we know that's safe. Um, and uh, basically, between those routes is where we could hopefully do battle with each other. And uh, <laughs> dude, I don't know about you, but I'm probably about as nervous as I've ever been. Yeah, yeah. I'm <laughs> I'm pretty up there. <laughs> <laughs> so we got we got to do a couple of things. We got to get both of them in the air in a timely manner. We have to line up up to each other in the middle of the afternoon. We got to shoot each other, get two hits. One of us blows up. Yeah, the sun is going to be interesting. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy we definitely put it on the bottom, which means we're going to kind of have to list underneath. So if we come down, we don't want to come down on them like this. We're going to have to kind of come down and hit you like that. But it should shield us. We learned a lot when we did the scout, and it worked really well. We got to get this thing ready. Let's go have some fun. <laughs> All right, that's good. That's, Greg works. That's what I'm talking about, Greg. <laughs> well done there, David. So we are live. We are hot. <laughs> this is sketchy, but we did everything we can to be safe. You ready? Yes. We're gonna do this. <laughs> All right, I got good video. Oh, that looks amazing. <laughs> Holy right, cow. Are we ready? All right. All right, we got one quad in the air. We got second quad is coming up in the air. Yeah, good luck, man. Yep, good luck as well. Hey, good luck, guys. All right, ready? That's amazing! <laughs> you good? Up. We're good. All right. <laughs> Ooh, she is a heavy girl. <laughs> I'm after you, buddy. <laughs> oh, they're up in the air. Let's wow. Go. That is a very heavy plane. Oh, I see you. I'm gonna try to hit you. Nothing? Oh, nothing, nothing. You are so fast! Where did you go? I'm making the turn just oh, past. Oh, I see you. 
Whoa! Oh, did I get you? Yeah, it, it fluttered a little bit, I think. <laughs> wow. Where are you? Uh, I'm coming over the runway right now. Down at Ready Board. He's hot. He's so he is, fast. He is so fast! I'm afraid to take it in low. I don't blame <laughs> you. I'm gonna have to swoop in on you, just like history. Are you over Ready Board still? Yep, I'm coming down. Oh, I just saw you. I went under you. Oh, oh whoa, up, whoa. Up, yeah. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. Pull oh, up. I see you. Pull up. Oh, I'm wow. gonna... Okay, are you catching up? I'm, I'm, I'm on you, man. Oh. Pull up, pull up, pull up, good. Um, I, I got wow. you, I got you. Oh, oh. <laughs> you got me. You feel it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, oh I got him, wow. I got him. Back on the deck. Oh, I'm, I'm hitting you. Oh, oh. oh my goodness, this is oh. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> That was great. Holy cow. I didn't even get caught up to you, but that was awesome. Well, well here's here's the crazy thing. I, we had this all planned on like practicing together. Everything goes out the door the second you get in the air. Oh, it it is crazy. crazy. Uh, but what was really, really cool was you were so much faster. The only way I could get up on you was by cutting the corners. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I felt myself kind of losing power a little bit. I'm like, oh, like, this can't happen. You shot underneath me. I'm like, yes. And I got down and sure enough, there's about five seconds of a straight line. Boom. I only saw you for about two seconds and I, I had my thumb on the button the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow, I don't think it's coming great back. Work. Hey, let's great. go check out the Holy damage. Wow. Dude, and it I hit the top of this tree. <laughs> and that's upside why down. it landed here. So it would have kept is... going to the... I, I was upside down and I saw the tree coming, so I tried to pull <laughs> down, I guess. I oh my god. It was great. To try to get above what the tree. What did that look like or feel like from your perspective getting oh, shot? Oh, it was crazy. <laughs> like, I, as, soon as, as soon as it blew, the whole plane listed and I'm like, oh boy. So I pulled it back the other way and it just kept wanting to flip over. So oh I let it roll gosh. over and <laughs> took it in upside down. Dude, that is unreal. <laughs> She's look not coming it. back from that. Oh, oh that's my, perfect. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Look at that. I am just so happy right now. And look, everything's still powered <laughs> on. <laughs> Do you have any controls, David? <laughs> I'm yeah. back up. Let's shut her. <laughs> one oh win, gosh. one one win. Unbelievable. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, wow. friends, thanks for being part of the Flight Test family. <laughs> Thank you for making this a reality for us. We have a whole new chapter with laser tag and a way to do combat like we've never done before. <laughs> but we need your help. We need, we're about to hit 2 million subscribers, yep. less than 100,000 away. So what I'm kind of thinking is if we hit 2 million subscribers, we build a B-17, mm -hmm. put it in the air with laser attack system, gunner turrets, all that stuff. And then at the same time, we have German fighters attack it and see who wins. I like yes. it. Let us know if you want to see that, hit the subscribe bell. We'll see you next time. Happy flying.